So I'm driving by the Palms right now, and if I had to pick a sports book here in Las Vegas that I spent the most time in, it would be the Palms sports book. Definitely number one. But right now I'm heading to number two, at least what used to be number two. When I lived here in Las Vegas the first time, I spent a lot of time at the Palms book, but the second half of when I lived here, the closest book I lived to was the Hard Rock, the closest casino, so I spent a lot, a lot of time at the Hard Rock book, a lot of memories. So when I heard the news that the Hard Rock was closing down and Virgin bought it out and was gonna change it, I was pretty disappointed, you know. I, the Hard Rock, one of my favorite books. And so right now I'm heading to the new Virgin that just opened earlier this week to check it out and see if the sports book is still any good. You know, selfishly, I hope they didn't do anything to the sports book. I hope they left it untouched. And you know, it would make a lot of sense, right? Why would you mess with it, you know? It was perfectly fine. It would cost a lot more money to tear it all down and remake it into something else than to just leave it standing. So I'm actually interested to see what they did with it. And also check out the rest of the property as well, but I really want to see what they did with my, one of my favorite sports books. It's a state issued ID, not a voter ID. It's a lying colonialist anti-American. Free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785. So that right there is what the sports book used to be. So I'm guessing it's offices now. So they did not just keep it. They got rid of it completely. So let's go find the new one. Man, this is extremely disappointing. Extremely. Well, at least the uh, self-parking garage is still the same. They didn't mess with that. You know, overall, you know, I just want to review the sports book, but um, that was a disappointing sports book. What you saw is what you got. I don't even have to explain it. Like, I could fit it all in the same camera shot. That might be the smallest sports book in Las Vegas now outside of the Tropicana. And I don't even know if the Tropicana counts. I mean, there was what, like nine or 10 seats and a couple of benches. And it wasn't even open yet. I'll give him some credit for that. It didn't look like it was ready, uh, but still that, that's a tiny sports book. So I just don't see any reason why uh, you would go there. The, there's nothing, you know, it's not so much that I'm saying that book sucks because it's not even open yet. It's more of like, there's no need to get rid of the old one. Like, Virgin could have kept the old sports book and there was nothing wrong with it. It was perfect almost. That's, that's why I went there so many times. Not just because it was close, but because it was like a very well-designed book for like locals and midweek stuff. It might not have been perfect for like college football or anything, but because it was the old one wasn't probably big enough for like Saturdays and Sundays during football season but that is even smaller wow I'm just I, I just like I said I just see no reason why they turned the old one and I'm guessing offices and installed that new tiny shoebox in there instead disappointing as far as the vibe for the rest of the casino goes I mean it's it wasn't really that much different than hard rock they just took out all the rock and roll memorabilia they changed the color scheme to orange and red from purple and added some cactuses and stuff like that in there to make it more desert themed, I'm guessing. But apart from that, the casino isn't that, and I guess the casino at the Hard Rock had more of like a party vibe to it. They had pole dancers and uh, louder music and stuff. That place is quiet. So I'm guessing it's going after a more relaxed clientele, I'm guessing. I really don't know who they're targeting. They just open, but I don't know. I don't see any reason why I would go back. Uh, like I said, I'm not saying it's a bad casino, but I'm just trying to figure out who their target market is. So anyway, that is the review for the new Virgin Hotel Sportsbook. And uh, like I said, I don't see any reason why anyone would go there if they're not staying there. It is what it is, guys. Anyway, Resorts World is opening up this summer, so hopefully I'll be able to get a review on that one. 
but that'll probably be the next sports book review unless I review another place already standing between now and then. Well, until next time, this is Sports Betting Truth from Harmon Boulevard in Las Vegas, signing off.